Unpacking is the most chill, relaxing game that I have played this year easy. Somehow they turned one of my least favorite chores into the coziest experience that I've had playing a game in a while. Hi everyone, I'm Lei and I am here to help you foster a love of cozy games, indie games, and RPGs. Today we're going to be looking at the game Unpacking, which I was gifted an advanced copy to and I've spent a lot of time playing this game, so I'm really, really excited to talk about it. This video is sponsored by my Patreon. The best way to support me is through Patreon where you can subscribe monthly at different tier levels and you get different benefits at each level, including monthly recaps, an opportunity to get my YouTube videos a day ahead of regular launch, as well as more in-depth game reviews for some of my favorite games. You can get a link to my Patreon by clicking in the link below. Your support truly means the world. Thank you. Okay, you ready? Let's unpack this game. Unpacking is a point and click puzzle game where you, as the name suggests, unpack stuff and put it away. You're also experiencing the life of someone through their items, through the items that get carried from home to home and the ones that get left behind. I'm gonna keep this review rather short because I feel like a lot of the beauty of this game is in experiencing it for yourself, but I will talk about some of the features and things I loved about this game. The gameplay is simple and relaxing. You click the boxes to take items out of the boxes and place them around the room. You can make this as detailed as you want, which is kind of the beauty of it. If you want to just throw things all around the room haphazardly, you can do that within reason, or you can spend lots of time organizing everything by size, color, whatever makes you happy. I'll talk more on the story later, but as you move from home to home unpacking, things get a little more complicated with rooms added and new challenges like roommates and partners to work around. I personally played kind of a blend of haphazard organizing and trying to make everything look really nice. I definitely enjoyed the little decor items that you can put up around the room, like posters, plants, and knickknacks. I think when I go back through and play again, I'll do the hyper-organized route and try to like put all the items in rainbow order or something since that is so satisfying to me. You get achievements for unpacking the different homes, and there are even some fun surprise achievements for doing certain things, which I won't go into so that you can discover them for yourself. The game does have a few restrictions on what you can place where. For example, uh, once you finish unpacking all the rooms, if there are certain items that are not in the right place, they will glow red, and then you have to find uh, where that item actually goes. And sometimes it actually tells you a lot about the story, like where an item is supposed to be placed, you can learn a lot about the story and the narrative that is being told based on where these items are supposed to go. So I think that is really interesting and fun. Okay, now let's talk a little bit more about the story, if you can call it that. The thing is, is you don't actually get to directly see the story, but you get to experience it peripherally through the process of moving the character into different homes throughout their life. But in a way, I still felt intimately connected to her and felt like I really got to know her through her objects. It's amazing how much you can tell about a person through their items, the things that they take with them from home to home and the things that change and the things that get left behind. And this pig made me cry, no lie. One of the things that I really loved about this game were the details that seemed to be crafted so lovingly by the developers and how much they told you about the story in small little ways. One thing I noticed is that at one point you move the main character into a home with roommates who had already been living there. It's a very warm, homey environment, but this added a bit of a challenge in that I had to place my own items around the items that were already there. And unlike when moving into my own home or moving into a home with a partner, I couldn't move any of these items around to make room for mine. I kind of had to just fit them in wherever they would fit. I thought this was a pretty interesting and accurate depiction of roommates and it really adds this layer of intimacy and realism. There are so many little details like that sprinkled in throughout the game. I'll leave it up to you to find them all. I don't wanna spoil many of them. Another thing that I really, really loved and that was a pleasant surprise to me is that it is LGBTQIA plus representative and I won't go into more detail, but it was a pleasant surprise and it made me very, very happy. 
Another thing that I have to mention is the sound effects. I am a huge fan of great sounds in games and the sounds in this game are excellent. It's almost like ASMR, so good. So I'm gonna play a few seconds of footage straight from my gameplay recording so you can just hear how amazing those sounds are. All in all, I highly, highly recommend this game. It is extremely heartfelt. It is extremely relaxing and almost therapeutic to play. This is definitely one of my favorite games of the year. I highly recommend that you check this game out. It is available now on Steam, the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and the Humble Store for $19.99. And there you have it guys, there is a look at the game unpacking. What do you think? Does this game look as relaxing to you as it was to me? Let me know in the comments. If you want daily content about cozy games, indie games, and RPGs, then be sure to check out my TikTok page. And if you want to come hang out with me while I play games, be sure to check out my Twitch where I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Central. Thank you so much for watching. I love you very much and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.